Hello boys and girls, it's nice to see you again. I am so pleased that you are here with me. Do you remember me? My name is Ian and the last time I talked to you, I talked to you about names. And this time, what I'd like to do is talk to you about a little baby that was found in the reeds of a river and was named by the person who found him. Before I do that, let me talk to you about rivers and towns. An awful lot of towns and cities have rivers running through them. Regina has a river running through it, and it's called Wascana Creek. Now, Wascana Creek is a very famous river. In fact, it is world famous. Do you know why? Well, I'm going to jump in my car and I'm going to take you down to the river, to that creek, and I'm going to tell you the story of how it is world famous. Because you see, Wascana Creek holds a world record. So here we go. You see my car in the background? That's where I'm going and I'm going to go down to Wascana Creek. And this is the world record. This bridge is the longest bridge over the narrowest stretch of water in the entire world. And it's right here in Regina. The bridge was built to commemorate Queen Victoria back two centuries ago. Now this is one of my most favorite places to go. This is Wascana Creek. It's further north than where we were before, but it's beautiful. And this is a beautiful evening and uh, one thing I wanted to show you today was these reeds and bulrushes that are on the side of the creek. If I come down the hill and not fall into the creek, maybe I could show you what they look like. There they are. And look at the ducks. The ducks and the grease use these places for their, for their nests. But many, many, many years ago, the Bible tells us a story about a little baby who was left in bulrushes just like this. So let me tell you the story of the little baby in the Bible who was left in the rushes and in the reeds on the river. It is found in the book of Exodus in the first couple of chapters and the story is about a little baby who was in a family that was about to be murdered. And his mother, once he was born, hit him for about three months in the house and then she decided he was getting too big and so he, she made a basket and covered it with tar, put a blanket in the basket and took him down to the river and hid him in the bulrushes, just like those bulrushes that I just showed you. He was, he was hidden in the bulrushes and his sister stood a little ways off to wait and see what might happen to him. Lo and behold, the king's sister and her friend came strolling by and they heard the baby cry and she sent her friend down to the rushes and down to the bulrushes and she she said go get that baby and we'll see what we'll do with him and they brought the baby up and the baby was so beautiful that she she the, the king's sister decided to keep him. With that, the baby sister came to the, 
came to the, uh, the two young women and said to them, Listen, I can get you an, uh, a, a, a person to nurse the baby. And so they gave it back to her so that her mother may nurse the baby. Now that baby's name was Moses. And Moses was given a name, that name, by the king's sister. Because the Bible tells us that Moses means, I found him by the water. We all know who Moses eventually became. He lived in the king's palace for a while and got to know how things worked. But God was preparing him for a very important purpose. And that purpose was to bring his, his, his people out of Egypt into the promised land. But that's how he started. And boys and girls, you know, when we are born, God has a purpose for each one of us. And if we're, listen, if we're willing to listen to him, he will show us that purpose. So I hope you enjoyed the story of Moses. It's a different story, because most of the times the story is all about him going and taking the people out of Egypt. But this is the story of his birth. And I do thank you for listening to me, because next time I may, I think we'll talk about the person who got them into Egypt in the first place. And his name was Joseph.